Hey, what up, y'all? Hopefully, y'all having a great weekend. Let's check out this uh, WWE video. Wrestling fans are more than just fans. They bring their own personality to the shows and sometimes make WWE even more fun to watch. Not long after the <laughs> WWE, Goldberg was making his way to the ring. One fan was really excited to see the WCW legend and ripped off his shirt as the master of the jackhammer made his entrance. You just know that guy planned on doing that before he even got to the show. WWE <laughs> fans have never been huge on Eva Marie. And when the redhead began competing in NXT, fans really didn't like her. But most fans would simply boo or chant things at her, another fan decided to take a different approach. In the main event of NXT, Eva Marie took on Bailey for the NXT Women's Championship. Rather than watch the match, a fan in the front row decided to read a book, Chris Jericho's book to be exact. The fan kept reading throughout the entire match until Bailey had won. That's one way to say you don't like someone. In wow. 2016, Ron Strowman was on a rampage in WWE. One of his victims was Sin Cara, and while the witch tour was getting snot kicked out of them, at least one fan was having some fun. In the back row, a WWE fan had some kind of dab attack going on. <laughs> like the thing what ever. the heck? It's not uncommon for wrestlers to throw their shirts or other merchandise into the crowd. Fans love this, or at least most fans do. Before a match against CM Punk on Raw, John Cena threw his shirt into the crowd like normal, only to have it thrown right back at him. So no, crowd, what the? Fans again threw it right back at him. What makes this so crazy is that ring worn John Cena shirts can be sold for thousands of dollars, yet the fans still threw the shirt back into the ring. No way, wow, how disrespectful. Yo. Usually, it was the movie throwing pancakes to the fans, but on an episode of SmackDown, the roles were reversed. A fan in the crowd grabbed one of the New Day's pancakes and threw it into Pinky's face. He seemed to be actually impressed and gave the fan the box of burritos. During one of Enzo Amore's signature promos, a fan saw an opportunity for some fun and took it. The certified G threw off his wig, which was caught by a man the? standing nearby. The guy threw the wig on and played it up to the camera a little bit. <laughs> Wrestling at an untelevised WWE show, Roy Ripley was was having fun with the fans and giving out high fives. One fan probably had a bit too much to drink and accidentally spilled his beverage onto Ripley's chest. Speaking of too much to drink, I think this referee may have been a little out of it too. During an episode of Monday Night Nitro, Kevin Nash was in a gauntlet match. He started dishing out jackknife power bombs, and despite Nash not covering his opponent, oh, I think I've seen this on social media. <laughs> Rack. A security guard made them stop, but it was still a funny moment. Hey, they said don't try this at home, but they never what? said you couldn't try it at the show. One thing you should never try is attacking a wrestler. Some fans did and were unfortunately successful. To see what happened, watch What Yo, that clip with the with the referee just <clears throat> and nobody was spinning. It's like Yo, what the heck? Like, did he get fired? I gotta know what happened to this guy. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Like the video, show me some love, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out, y'all.